the Thoroughbred Owners and Breeders Association today, Tuesday, August 29, 2023, announced major incentives in partnership with the Betting Gaming and Lotteries Commission and the Jamaica Racing Commission for the owners of two- and three-year-olds. The announcement was made by Toba CEO, Ainsley Walters at the draw of post positions for the 2023 Winston Griffiths Classic. On behalf of the directors of the Thoroughbred Owners and Breeders Association of Jamaica, I extend a warm welcome to viewers of this joint press conference for the Winston Fanna Griffiths Classic post position draw. The Thoroughbred Owners and Breeders of, of, uh, Association of Jamaica is honored to share this platform with SVREL to officially launch its 2023 annual yearling sale set for Sunday, November 12th. This sale promises to be like none before, a mixed sale of local and imported yearlings. At this very moment, Toba Director Lorenza Robinson is at Woodbine Racetrack in Ontario, Canada, inspecting hundreds of fillies ahead of tomorrow's 2023 Canadian Premier Yearling Sale, hoping to return with at least 10 horses to enter in our yearling sale. Toba wishes to congratulate the Betting Gaming and Lotteries Commission and Jamaica Racing Commission for their respective roles played in this year's removal of GCT from the importation of horses. A five-year relief, which has been enhanced by a $20 million Jamaica Racing Commission Thoroughbred Stimulus Fund, which made Director Robinson's trip to Canada possible. The Thoroughbred Stimulus Revolving Fund, to be administered by TOBA, provides the association with new funding opportunities to allow importation of horses, fillies primarily, for resale at its annual yearling sales. The intent is not to only uh, increase the racing stock, but also make quality mares available for breeding after their racing careers have ended, in addition to increasing the ownership population among a wide, wider uh, age range within the industry. Toba's pre-existing revolving loan fund facility is available to new and existing members as a source of affordable funding. As a result of this initiative, Toba has a proposal on the BJLC's table, one that has been met with favor, to sponsor a $5 million series for imported two-year-old horses, similar to the current three-race BGLC Toba maiden series for native breeds. This proposed new series, as per the events and scheduled, as um, we have five races scheduled for 2024, these races uh, will significantly reward owners of imported two euros for the 2024 racing season in support of the uh, stimulus revolving fund. What is exciting about this proposed series, as well as the existing series for native bred maidens, is that Toba, in its quest to fulfill its mandate to promote, foster, encourage, improve, and develop the horse racing industry in Jamaica, intends to have the sponsorship reward each winning owner with a $1 million bonus in addition to the purse as advertised by promoting company SVREL. Similarly, Toba has applied to revamp the bonus payment structure of the three race native bred maiden series to reward twice the number of winning owners by staging six races instead of three with $1 million bonuses to each winning owners, in addition to the SVREL purses. The six race dates of particular note is that two have been slotted in for late December, affording more owners of maiden two-year-olds opportunities to benefit from the, the $1 million BGLC TOBA bonus. This historic amendment is a departure from the $2 million per race bonus sponsorship, which mirrored SVREL's purse payment structure of first through sixth and uh, the breeder of the winning horse. Instead, this bonus $1 million goes straight to the pocket of the winning owner. Most interesting, the possibility exists for native breeds to win races in both series, further incentivizing owners and breeders, encouraging them to have their local breeds and imported yearlings pre-qualify for free entry to these races by entering Toba's 2023 sale. 
The usual stipulation of a $75,000 nomination fee governing the series of races will be maintained as it relates to horses not entered, sold, nominated, or passed through the October yearling sale of 2023. Uh, competitive bids on privately owned imported yearlings could lead to an exciting and memorable sale of imported and local breads on Sunday, November 12th. So um, thank you all for tuning in. And remember, entries for Toba's yearling sale close on Wednesday, September 20th. And the breeders, think of all the incentives awaiting your horses and traders should go ahead and spread the word among your owners to be at this historic sale. Thank you very much, Ainsley.